Hi guys, it's your girl Sika J. I'm coming to you with a wig review on the Mongolian Kinky Curly Wig from I See Hair in 16 Inches. Um, this wig is a popular wig that's been floating around YouTube. Um, I decided to do a review uh, and give my personal feedback on the wig from a first time wig buyer. Um, this is my first lace front wig that I've ever purchased. And I want to just give you guys the honest unbiased review and a, a wig that I purchased myself that was not sponsored and just tell you uh, what I did to it, how I customized it, how I liked it, give you the pros and the cons and let you make the decision if you want to purchase the wig or not. So a couple weeks ago I purchased a wig from I See Hair. Um, the initial uh, idea behind it was that I wanted a wig that I could cut to an angle bob so I wasn't going to get a long length. Um, so that's why I decided to go ahead and go with the 16 inches. Um, the description of the wig said that it comes with four inches of lace parting space and that it was pre-plucked. I can't say that those things were true, except for the four inches of parting space is not four inches all the way around. When you get closer to the uh, end parts of the lace uh, parting area, the lace parting space does get smaller. I want to say it's about three to two inches as it gets to the end of your uh, your head around the perimeter. But at the top, it's most definitely four inches of parting space. Um, that uh, part of the wig really didn't bother me. I knew I wanted to do a side part, but it didn't have to be like a long, deep part or anything like that. I just knew the look that I was going for, so that wasn't really an issue for me. Um, the shipping said that it would take uh, about three to four, no, actually three to five days to arrive. Uh, that didn't bother me either. I believe I got the wig in about four days, so that was good. Um, as far as the texture of the hair, the hair is very soft, very flowy. Me personally, I like the more defined look. If you don't define the curls, it is a lot like fluffier, a lot um, textured, but I like the more defined look. So that's why it's a little more tame and a little more um, like wet looking. To get the defined look, I did use a foam and wrap mousse. This is the foam and wrap mousse, mousse that I use. It's by B and B. It worked really well. I just uh, equally put it throughout the wig, and it keeps it nice and sleek like this the whole time. Believe it or not, and the, the reason why I decided to use the mousse foam and wrap versus like the regular um, foam and um, mousse that comes in a can that kind of expands when you spread it out and that makes it really hard but the foam um wrap mousse keeps it very soft like soft to touch even when it's defined so i did like that part about it as far as customizing the wig I did not bleach the knots on the wig. The reason why I did not bleach the knots is because, like I said, this is my first time buying a frontal wig. So I, I didn't want to over bleach the knots and potentially risk, um, you know, damaging the wig. So I decided to do some research on YouTube and find different ways that you can conceal the knots. And the way that I found was that the Sally Henson leg spray. So this is what I use. I just uh, simply... I just simply sprayed it on the lace area of the hair and then let it dry. Um, you can actually just dry it on the cool setting on your blow dryer, but I really wasn't in a rush, so I just let it dry overnight. And then when I woke up to customize it, it was perfectly fine. The thing about the Sally Hansen leg spray, if you guys don't know, it does have glitter in it. Um, but the glitter is not noticeable. It's just like a personal preference for you. So if you want something that's easier, that's quicker, that's cheaper, and you don't have to risk damaging your wig, I would definitely use that as an option if the glitter uh, doesn't bother you. Like I said, it's not a lot of glitter. It's not noticeable. In my opinion, I haven't had any issues with it. As far as plucking the frontal portion of the wig, I did not pluck the frontal portion of the wig. If you purchase the wig, it does come with a description. The description says that it's pre-plucked, and I actually thought that it looked really good, really natural. And not only that, as time goes on, the wig does shed, and you know, her does come off naturally from the wig. So I didn't want it to be to the point to where I plucked it, and then naturally some of the hair starts to shed out, and then the wig becomes very thin around the perimeter that it's just not a look that I was really going for. As far as what I did to get the cut of the wig, I just simply used um, some, some scissors to cut it into the angle bob. 
and then I went through with like a, a, a razor comb just to kind of shape it out so it didn't look too too blunt and you know weird looking or anything like that but that part actually didn't take long I did cut it while it was dry so um, when it became defined it looked a little longer than uh, what I thought it would be which was a good thing because I didn't want it to be super short and it looked awkward so I was actually happy when I put the um, mousse on it that it did you know give it a little length and it still was voluminous and still nice and defined um what else can I tell you about the wig um so it's just the front part is the lace area and then the back is like sewn in tracks it comes with two combs two combs in the front right here no, three combs. It comes with two combs in the front right here and then one comb in the back. I do have all the combs kind of like um, into my hair so to keep it secure. Um, as far as what I did to make it blend, I did use the ball cap method. And if you don't know about that, you can look it up on YouTube. It's super easy to use. Um, as far as installation goes, I did not use any wig glue. I just used the Got To Be Glue Gel. I used the one that was um, in the black tube. I used this one. And I really like it because for some reason the yellow one flakes a lot more the one, than the one in the black tube. So I really do like this one a lot more. And I also used the Got To Be Glue Styling Spray. Um, that's most definitely a, a lot um a lifesaver because it, it really holds everything in place like i definitely feel like my wig is super secure on my head and it's not going anywhere which is always the plus right um as far as putting it on i mean i really didn't do much i, I put the cap on underneath then i pushed the combs in and then i just styled my baby hairs around it and that was it it really wasn't um a lot to make it look good as far as the texture goes, it's really soft. Like I said before, I haven't had any issues with it. I have had minimal shedding, but I always expect shedding, especially with curly hair. I've never really bought any, any hair ever and didn't have shedding. So, I mean, for you to think that you're not going to get any shedding from weave or wigs, I think that's kind of unrealistic. So, the amount of shedding that I did get from it, it didn't bother me at all. And I was happy with the, the amount of shedding that I got. It wasn't a lot. Um, would I purchase this wig again? I would most definitely purchase this wig again. I thought it was really nice. I thought it's, it's super comfortable on my head. But what I can say, I don't know if the wig comes in different sizes, cap sizes. Apparently, my head is big, and I did not know this is big as it is. But, um, the flaps on the side actually don't come all the way down on the sides of my head so it's kind of the way that i styled it it really didn't matter anyway but if you are um your head is a little bigger if they have different cap sizes i do recommend you measuring your head to see what cap size works for you because i just got the standard one and apparently my head is a little bigger than what i thought it was so yeah that's the only thing that really was like oh that could have changed, but it most definitely wasn't a deal breaker for me. I'm definitely going to keep wearing the wig. I definitely will repurchase the wig. Um, as far as the affordability, for the 16-inch wig, I think I paid up around $120 for it. And I didn't think that that was a bad price at all, especially for a lace frontal wig. I thought that was really affordable. And especially for the quality of the wig, it looks very nice. looks very natural. If you can look at the curl pattern, it's a very, very, very um pretty curl pattern so i was happy with that aspect of it also as far as longevity goes i'm not sure just yet i would have to come up and uh give you guys a uh, update on the wig because i don't know how long it's gonna last or how long the curls will be intact so i would definitely come back and give you guys an update on the longevity of the wig but as far as overall ratings on a scale from zero to ten ten being amazing zero being uh never buy again i wouldn't recommend it to an enemy i would definitely give this this wig a strong nine and it's just because it didn't fit um well on my head because i think my head is just a little bigger than the average cap size but that's the only con that i have about this wig this is a really great wig a very affordable wig and for me to be a first time frontal wig buyer i think that it is very uh easy to to put on very easy to manage and i think you would get multiple uses out of the wig most definitely so would i recommend this wig 
Yes. Do I like this wig? Yes. Would I repurchase this wig? Absolutely. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys like this review. I hope this uh, review gave you an idea if you will purchase this wig. Um, like I said, my name is Sika J. I hope to see you guys again. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. Tell me what you think about the wig. Tell me if you like the style of the wig. And I just want to hear back from you guys. This is a new year, 2019. Um, the procrastination is over. I always wanted to do YouTube, so I'm here now. And I hope you guys absolutely enjoy it. And I'll see you in my next one.